Hello there. So one of the things that have come up quite a bit is people wanting to use the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in webcam mode and then bring it into HDMI because some encoders like the Live View Solo or an item mini or anything like that won't work with USB obviously. So the obvious choice would to get a USB to HDMI converter like the OBS Bot 2. The problem with the OBS Bot 2 is that yes that works but it doesn't supply enough power. So if we take and let me unplug this and I show you this. So the OBS Bot 2 has two USB-C connectors and one USB-A. One USB-C connector is for power. One USB-C connector is sort of for their uh, webcam solutions um, for, for the OBS Bot camera. And one, the white one is a generic one. Now, if the USB-C connector would be working for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 or DJI Osmo Action 4, that would supply enough power to the camera. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So you have to use the white one. And the white one is actually down to a USB 2 specifications. So it only supplies 2 watts, 0 0.5 amps. And that's not enough to keep a, a DJI Osmo Action 3 running. <clears throat> i show you anyhow how this works. So we plug this in. Go to and plug the HDMI cable in. Okay, and then we'll turn the pocket on. And point it somewhere. And plug the USB C cable in. And I've tried it on the USB-C port on the OBS port. It doesn't work. Never triggers. Goes into webcam mode. And there you go. So that's working. But the problem is, as you can't see right now, but I'll show you. 1.7 watts. And that's not enough because the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 will need 6.7 6 watts when it draws the most. So it will work, but it will not keep the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 charged in the long run. A better solution for that are these two. So what these are, this is the Link P ENC 1 version 2. And this is the TBS 2603 AU. For all purposes, they are the same device. They're just two different manufacturers, but they are the same device, same specifications. So we'll take this one and we take this out, okay? So let me show you. So what we have here is we have a DC 12 volt in. This actually also takes 5 volt. It's just not specified. LAN, USB, HDMI in and out, audio in and out, TF card, and an RS-232 connector. This is a full-fledged industrial encoder. The fun part is it costs 30 to 40 dollars less than the OBS bot. It can take USB camera input, it can take HDMI camera input, but it can also output its feed instead of streaming it, it can also output it to the HDMI. Now this encoder can't do any bonding or anything, which is why it's often not the choice. If you have a live view solo already, you pay for LRT, um, then you obviously want to use that. You want to have the advantage of multiple modems. Or if, if you have an ATEM, then you want to use the ATEM because obviously this doesn't do what the ATEM does, right? Anyway, let's, let's, let's get going here. So we'll take out the OBS bot and we plug HDMI out of this encoder into, into here. We plug the camera out. And 
And what I then use is a blind spot 12 volt trigger cable. For USB-C. So for all purposes, power this up. Okay. I will need a network cable also to configure this. But as you can see, it's already gone into webcam mode. I had this pre-configured. It's gone into webcam mode and it now shows the feed of the Pocket 3. So this is for, for all purposes a better solution. And if you look, we have 3.9 watts, 3.8 watts, 6.1 watts, 3.8 watts. So shows you that this can actually deliver the charge that the DJI Osmo Action 3 needs. Let me get you in and show you how this is configured. Standard login for the link Pi is admin admin. Also, you can see the IP in the display that it has got. So this is the interface of the link pi. You have a, a preview here. So we go into encode and what you do there is you find USB cam and you enable that and you disable the HDMI and the mix if that's enabled, right? So that's one thing you need to do. And then you go and audio config, USB cam, you say that you want the audio from HDMI. That's correct because that will be, see, you can also take it from line. That would be the audio connector on the link Pi, but you want it on HDMI, then it comes from, from the USB cam. You go to extend, video mix, HDMI enabled, resolution 1080p 30, and video source USB cam, safe. That's what you need. And basically that's all you have to configure in this little unit to make this work. And then it acts as your USB to HDMI converter. I hope this helps. Maybe give the video a like and I'll see you another day. Bye.